Welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a totally unedited surgery. This is a cataract with grade 4 nuclear sclerosis. The ocular surface is thoroughly washed with ringolactate or BSS. And now this is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratome at mid limbus. Now 2% SPMC is injected into the anterior chamber and it is applied over the cornea. This improves visibility and capsulorexis becomes possible without staining the capsule. This is a side port and in this case I have made only one side port. The side port is about 3 clock hours away from the main incision. The anti-capsule is incised, a capsular tag is raised. Now I use a uterita forceps, hold this capsular tag, go anti-clockwise and do an adequate sized continuous curvilinear capsular axis. The axis is done and now hydro dissection. This is 27 case cannula, BSS is passed after expelling out some visco from the anterior chamber. The nucleus is mobilized. The nucleus rotates very nicely. Visco is again injected. The anterior chamber is filled off. And now is the time to introduce the tip of the FECO needle. The machine being used is Faro's from Oatly. I am in FECO 2 mode from the very beginning. FECO 2 mode means very high vacuum, high flow and adequate ultrasonic energy. The vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury, 45 ml per minute is aspiration flow rate and ultrasonic energy used in this case is 70 percent. This is direct chop. And this is my submarine technique. The fecondidyl goes through the substance of the nucleus and it can divide the nucleus into two heminuclei very easily. Each heminucleus is then subdivided into two large fragments. And each large fragment is emulsified starting from its apex. Each fragment is tilted and its apex is approached and it is emulsified. So we are emulsifying the second fragment. Now this is the third large fragment. Artesonic energy being used in this case is about 70 percent. This is the last fragment. At this time we can decrease the parameters. We can decrease the vacuum, decrease the flow rate so that the stability of the anterior chamber becomes more. But in this case, I didn't change the setting. So we have managed nucleus and epinucleus, and there is practically no cortex in this case. So this is the time now to implant an intraocular lens. Before that, I'm going to enlarge the main wound. Yes, the main wound has been enlarged because this cartis is B cartis, white bore cartis. If we don't enlarge the main wound, we can do wound assisted delivery of the intraocular lens. 
At this time, I am behind the intraocular lens and polishing the posterior capsule. Yes, the lens is nicely placed in the capsular bag. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. And now the side port is hydrated. The side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma. And now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. Again I am using the 23G Simco. Any cortex remaining at 5 o'clock is being checked. And it is done. Form the anterior chamber very nicely. Keep the IOP on the higher side of the normal and come out. Then the integrity of the wounds are checked. Few drops of moxie is applied over the cornea. And then the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.